hello guys welcome to another video from daily tech channel in this video i'm going to show you how we can create or generate an excel formatted document in asp.net using c -sharp. for doing this i will use my previous project that i am using to generate pdf report as you can see this is my old project for using this I will just add another button in which when I press it, it will generate my Excel formatted report. Okay, copy and paste the previous button. Just, I will change the name as XSLS. In the home controller, I will add a new public action result with the name of XSLX. In here, I will use a library that will generate my Excel report or CSP format document. In the new with package, write closed XML. Just install the latest stable version of closed XML. Okay. Accept. Okay, the library is installed. Here we go. In here, I'm creating the object of my workbook. Using var workbook is equal to new. Excel workbook and here using close XML we have to include this library into my workspace where worksheet is equal to workbook dot worksheets dot add it is the name of my document can also add the name of the author in case of me the author is daily take and here I'm going to add the header for my columns the first row will be my header as you can see worksheet cell one and here there's some style also you can use the code the first part is the header style the second one is the column title there are some styles that you can use in your document for example alignment border text size font size and so many more in here for creating my table I will use a full loop with the length of 100 
that means it will generate a document with a, in, it will generate an excel document with a hundred rows hundred rows for the case of simplicity I used my code that I wrote in my past project if you wish I can share the code with you just comment I will send you the code too okay I copy my code and paste it here just I will give some name in the inside the folder that when I generate the document you can see the result for example in the first column the date will be appear the second column is the name column also third four or five it will go After the document is created, I will save it into the memory stream and when I press the generate button, it will automatically download the resulted document into my computer. Workbook that save us stream where constant is, is equal to stream that two array. I return it as a file. As you can see, everything is ready. Just remove the first return view since I have a return now in my action result okay let us see the result run the project press the generate x is a x here it is as you can see the excel document has been downloaded Here is my document. The first one was the header, daily tag, my columns, date, name, surname, age, title, address, and phone. Inside the cells, you can see the data from my for loop. Okay, guys, that was all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you want. The code I can share with you. Just comment me under this video. See you in the next video.